हे फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू टेक्नो लाइव क्रिएशन टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू द वर्ल्ड ऑफ एसी वोल्टेज मेजरमेंट विद द जेएम पीटी 101 बी एसी वोल्टेज सेंसर मॉड्यूल दिस लिटिल मॉड्यूल इज परफेक्ट फॉर आईओटी प्रोजेक्ट्स होम ऑटोमेशन एंड एनर्जी मॉनिटरिंग सिस्टम बट हाउ एक्यूरेट इज इट स्टिक अराउंड बिकॉज आई विल नॉट ओनली एक्सप्लेन इट्स फीचर एंड स्पेक्ट्स बट ऑल्सो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू डिस्प्ले वोल्टेज रीडिंग ऑन एंड ऑल डिस्प्ले यूजिंग द एसपी 32 एंड वी विल इवन कंपेयर इट विद अ डिजिटल मल्टीमीटर फॉर इट्स एक्यूरेसी Before we move on let me tell you about a fantastic tool that has made my PCB design process so much more efficient LTM365 LTM365 is the first open electronic hardware development platform that fosters a secure and collaborative design environment whether you are working alone or with a team LTM365 ensures everyone is on the same page key benefits of LTM365 is data management store all your design data securely in one place with robust version control ensuring everyone works with the latest file Library management access millions of ready to use parts with up to date supply chain data making informed design decision easier supply chain management integrated bom management with real time data on parts availability and pricing helps streamline your production cycles collaboration enable seamless collaboration with your team and manufacturers reducing errors and speeding up the design process and if you are a student and want to be job ready in electronics design try ltm student lab you will get free access to ltm designer and ltm 365 so you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that recognized by top industries in india it's a great way to boost your skills and your resume just enter your university email to get started for free and learn real skill that lead to real jobs with ltm student lab and benefits of this ltm student lab is you will get free access to ltm designer student license and pcb design courses university level curriculum and course certified from ltm education free access to power analyzer by keysight this is an amazing opportunity to gain industry recognized skills uh, thanks to ltm for sponsoring this video for more details check out the link in the description let's start with an overview this module is built around the zm pt 101b transformer which is designed for precise ac voltage measurement This module is compact, lightweight and super easy to integrate with microcontrollers like Arduino, ESP32 and Raspberry Pi. Here what makes the ZM PT101B stand out? This module delivers accurate and stable voltage readings. This module has onboard potentiometer to fine tune the sensitivity for different voltage ranges. This module works seamlessly with microcontrollers that have ADC pins. With its voltage transformer, this module isolates the microcontroller from high voltages, which ensures your microcontroller stays protected from high voltages. This module operates on 3.3 volt or 5 volt, so it's compatible with most power sources. Uh, now let's dive into the technical specs. By using this module, you can measure AC voltages up to 250 volt. This module provides an analog output signal which is proportional to the RMS voltage. and its frequency range this module supports standard 50 hertz to 60 hertz input uh, so this is all about the features and specifications now let's connect it with a esp32 and see how it performs connect the zm pt101b ac voltage sensor module to the esp32 along with a oled display as per this connection diagram and one more thing this connection includes ac circuit so be careful while making the connections as ac voltage can be dangerous so be careful Uh, this code is designed to read the RMS voltage using the ZM PT101B AC voltage sensor module and display the result on an OLED display. Uh, let me explain this code in detail. Uh, here these two libraries that is SPI.h and wire.h are for communication protocols and these two are for controlling the OLED display. And this one is for interfacing with the ZM PT101B voltage sensor. Uh, here we define a variable called sensitivity which is used later in the code for calibration. Uh, here in this line we define the ZM PT101B sensor with the ADC pin that is GPIO 34 of ESP32 and here we need to mention the source frequency in my case it is 50 hertz. After that here we define the OLED screen dimension which is 128 cross 64 pixels. 
Then in the setup section, we first set the sensitivity value of the ZMPT101B sensor. Uh, then here, OLED displays in a sliced using the Adafruit underscore SSD1306 library. After that in the loop section, here we are reading the RMS voltage using the get RMS voltage function from the ZMPT101B library. Uh, after that, the voltage value is printed in the CR monitor for debugging. Also in the OLED display, voltage value is printed and it is updated every after 1 second. Uh, that's it the explanation part of the code. If you want, you can download this code from the description. Uh, now upload the code into the ESP32 board after selecting the right board and right communication port. As you can see, code is successfully uploaded. Uh, now let's see our project in action. Once the module is connected and the code is uploaded, you will see a real-time AC voltage readings on this OLED display. Cool, right? This is perfect for building your own energy meter or smart monitoring system. But how accurate is it? Let's compare its reading with a digital multimeter. Uh, as you can see, the ZMPT101B is pretty close to the multimeter, thanks to its precise transformer design. Uh, if the readings are not accurate, then in that case you can calibrate it using the onboard potentiometer. Very simple and very easy to use. Uh, one more thing, this project involves AC circuitry, so be careful while making the connections. I will recommend to take the help of any professionals. ZMPT101B, this module is incredibly versatile. You can use it in energy monitoring systems like tracking the household or industrial energy uses. You can use it to make IoT dashboards. For example, we can use it to monitor voltage remotely in our IoT setups. We can use it in smart home automation systems like monitoring the appliances and automate actions based on the voltage levels. And also we can build an over voltage protection system like detecting the abnormal voltage and triggering the protective measures. And apart from this, you can also use it to make educational projects for learning about voltage sensing in electronics. If you want to purchase this module, then you can get in a very affordable price from my website that is technolabelectronics.com. Uh, I'll put the purchase link in the description. Uh, that's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to check out the link in the description to get your ZMPT101B module. So see you in the next video. Happy making. Bye bye.